All right, welcome back. This is our second playthrough of The Ocean Has Her Reasons. Almost clicked the wrong file again. <laughs> oh yeah, so I think last time they just fought off that seismic soldier. Uh, they're talking about going to the market. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. Some potions would be smart, but it seems like we all have a habit of throwing away our weapons. Between her arrows, your knives, and my bottle bombs, we don't want to run out. <laughs> Let's see what they got for us. Alright, up to you. Up to me? Yeah, of course. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely want potions. Mm, always. So, mm, let's get another. Yeah, the way I fight, seven's not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. So. Okay. Let's do one of these. Two arrows from one gold. Actually, let's see if it's that. Uh, eight. Good thing. Do twelve. Yeah, I think that's the most she can carry at a time anyway. So. Yeah. And I'll just grab eight preemptively for him. Yeah, he loves to throw those away. Yeah, they're good. All right. Let's see. Go over here, items, active characters. So, oh, poor Norman. <laughs> Zero out of 17. What do you think? Should we heal him up full? I mean, we're kind of wasting the last health, but it's only one health, so. Uh, I think he's fine. Okay. Uh, probably same with Holden, leave him in 17. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're good. Bottle bombs, knives. All right. Mm -hmm. Unlocked the new technique, preemptive punch. So if you go to the start menu, go to customize characters techniques, you can give extra moves to your fighters. Kind of a late addition to the game, but I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. So... We can give somebody a long punch. Mm. Uh, Holden, Annalena, Norman. I don't know who would benefit from it the most. Definitely not Annalena. Because, <laughs> I mean, she's an archer, so what's she going to do walking around punching people? Especially when she can just shank them. True. I don't know. I think. It doesn't even matter. Between... Honestly, I would think about giving it to Anna Lena or Norman. Okay. Because future reasons, no spoilers. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Norman's a good choice. Yeah, I'll give it to Norman. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if we have any reacts yet. Oh, we got preemptive punch and partial block. That's good. Uh, this one lets you weaken a hit by 30%. That's something. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Holden, Annalena, and Norman? I can't remember who I gave it to. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with Annalena. Give, okay. give her a partial blow. Yeah. And then preemptive punch. It's, um... Norman. I was thinking Norman, just because he, he's pretty weak right now, so mm. it's not a bad choice. Uh, uppercut for a follow-up. I feel picky choosy for Norman. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fine. All right, Norman. I mean, he, he needs the help right now, so. True, true, true. I'll just save this so we don't lose our progress next time we get killed ten times in a row. <laughs> Alright. I probably should have taken the time to learn the geography in the years I spent here, but I didn't realize Brimstone 2 was so far away. We've been paddling for half an hour. Guess I thought we could have at least seen it on the horizon by now. At least we don't have to, to row anymore. The currents should take us straight to Brimstone 2 in no time. It's really not so bad out here. 
Thank God. I know I shouldn't complain since you two both had to fight. But after running halfway across the island, the last thing I wanted to was row. Kind of wish Augustana wasn't out on delivery. Did you guys ever get to meet her? The name sounds familiar. She might have been the one who ferried me and Sadie over to this island, come to think of it. If I'm right, she's a bit unique. The trip took three days because of a bad storm, and yet I think she was drunk on citrus rum the entire time. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely her. She's a gorgeous woman with broken shackles on her wrists. Practically always tipsy at the very least. A very good heart. She's worked as a delivery girl for a while, and since she built her own ship, or I said that wrong, ever <laughs> since she built her own ship, could really come in handy right about now. Maybe it's best that we don't involve her for the time being. Think about it. We don't really know what's happening on our archipelago. The Brimstone Isles evaded the worst of the war, but that isn't an ordinary raid. It's like you've said, we need to figure out why the Syndicate is even here. No matter how you look at it, it isn't for a good reason. The Seismic Fox Syndicate served as secret orchestrators in the Hisoya Civil War, upended the whole country, ruined thousands of lives. But if they sow seeds of war, what is their real goal? That's why I'm glad I came with. I left Hisoya when the rebels were taking over, but it always felt like unfinished business. A door left unclosed. Back then, I told myself that all I could do was run. But it was a lie I told myself because I was too afraid to fight. If it makes you feel any better, that's a common problem. I was unwilling to enter the war or stop my brother as he went down this path. We just tried to stay hidden, but it failed. Sadie and I are in this mess all because we were too afraid to fight back. For what it's worth, all my problems are because I chose to fight. I fought in the Hisoya Civil War, and I hate myself for the things I did. I didn't come here because I ran away from the rebels, or the soldiers, or the men they put in power. I came here because I ran away from the man I used to be. No one is spared from the toxicity of war. The civilians in the crossfire lose the only home they ever knew, and the soldiers in the trenches lose their very souls. They lose everything they used to be. You sound like you spend a lot of time thinking about this. I speak with the experience of both a civilian and a soldier. I never wanted to fight. I wanted to stay out of it. But I lost it all in the crossfire, so I joined the war and lost the little I had left of myself. I suppose I've been meaning to ask about that. I really don't want to judge or anything. I guess I'm just curious to know what role you played in the Hosoya Civil War. I left all that behind. The whole point of leaving is to put all that behind me. I'm not proud of the man I became. That doesn't mean it's too late to make up for my mistakes. Hell, I don't care if you started that war yourself. <laughs> if you're really gonna help me kill the men who stole my Sadie, it doesn't matter. I just wish we had some way to know where to search. It looks like we'll be landing soon. I like that. That's pretty. That's pretty. We should split up when we land, just for recon. Try not to get spotted. Just enough to see what we can find. If someone finds something, we can all regroup and pursue it together. Fastest way to find a target. It almost sounds like you have some experience doing this. Not that I'm complaining, of course. These soldiers aren't exactly easy to beat. I think we'll find it necessary to lean on each other. Uh, I'll try my best to be discreet. I'll check the port town. Does anyone want to check the shoreline? How about the marketplace? I'm gonna have to fix this later. This is the wrong discreet. <laughs> it's weird that there's two different discreets and they have wildly different definitions just placed depending on where the T is. But. Depending on where the T is? Mm hmm. This form is like discrete mathematics. Like you organize things into specific categories. Mm -hmm. uh, like you can have. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, but you can't have 1.1 or 1.01. Gotcha. And the discrete I meant to put here is EET. So. Okay. And that's the one that people use a lot more often, like, uh, oh, you gotta be sneaky. Right. You know? So. 
<laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's minor, but it's annoying. Because why would you have two different? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll check the marketplace. Holden, do you want to check the beach? I can do that. Good luck, both of you. We can regroup here after we scout out the island. Before I take off, I want to leave you with my gratitude and, and admonition. I probably couldn't save her on my own, so you have my thanks. But if worse comes to worse, then I may just become the same monster that you once saw yourself in yourself. There's nothing I won't do to have her back. I wouldn't expect anything less. We as men are condemned to become monsters when fighting for the ones that we love. That is the whole purpose of our strength, and I don't consider that a bad thing. Then why do you detest yourself for your own war crimes? Because my actions never protected anyone. I wanted to stay out of the war, and it was that gentleness that cost me everything. I didn't become a monster to defend anyone. I became a monster instead for revenge. This part of town is a bit unusual. It looks like an old arena, but there's no one here, anywhere around here. It's a perfect place for raiders to hide in plain sight. And we would, if it weren't for interlopers like you. But the good news is, that problem ends right now and right here. You're going down. Oh, well, Annalena versus a girl. Do you want it? Sure. All right. Sword, hatchet. Mm -hmm. 17 versus 15, that's crazy. All right, Annalena. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of tough, right? You don't want to go too far, but you don't want to get too close either. I'll go It's a good, good thing. Let him come to me. Powerful slash. Oh, for five feet away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Jump back and shoot. Good thinking. Oh. Oh. White sword slash. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that either. All right, well, you're gonna take a lot of damage this turn, but it's probably better to dodge this than the tomahawk or hatchet or whatever he's got. But that's gonna hit. I don't see any way around that. Uh, Unless we can kill him first. You get that head shot off, you win. <laughs> he's probably gonna uh, he jolted forward. Headshot. That's Dang. Headshot. I'm sorry, Annalena. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I thought it would be worse. I thought it would be way worse. <laughs> I thought it would be worse. Air yeah, headshot. Brace himself. Okay. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's down to like one health, basically. You know what? You know what? Yeah, how do you brace yourself for a headshot? <laughs> Seems like you brace yourself by not getting shot in the head. Don't get close. What are you doing? You have a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to arrow shank him. He hasn't used his dodge yet. That, that's true. That's true. But he'd still just dodge the shank and... St oh, crap. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. You're the loss. You're terrible at this. <laughs> How did you miss? You know, I don't control probability, Tyler. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power. He couldn't do anything? Oh, because he threw away his hatchet. Uh, He's probably too close to get you with the sword. You got this. Arrow shot. Dodge. Just don't miss this time. Man. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. This, this is a problem, actually. Headshot? Yeah. Brace yourself. Okay. I win. Yep. <laughs> it's a little harder than it needed to be. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go and heal up real quick. Let's see. She really didn't take that much damage now that you look at it. Did not? Give her some arrows back. 
How she throw those away, those away like they're nothing? <laughs> anyway, that's expensive. Hold on, we found something. I found one of the raiders just outside town, and he tried to kill me. I drove them off in the end, but they're definitely here. I bet if we go quickly, we can find the rest of them. Let's go. Let's hurry. I saw some tracks by shore, presumably where they landed, but the tracks faded. I couldn't follow them far at all. I'm just afraid that there may be more enemies than we'd like. It's probably best to use some tact. I didn't make it far into town before Annalena found me, but it's surprisingly busy. The contest of champions was canceled because of the volcanic activity, so I think a lot of people are just wandering now. If the Seismic Flux Syndicate truly is behind this, I wouldn't put it past them to use human crowds as shields. They've done it before. It'll just make them harder to find. With any luck, it won't come to that. I think we all have questions that need answers. Let's move. This is where I found them last. Holden, if you don't mind me asking, what are the questions for which you seek an answer? I think it's the same for me as it is for you. The Seismic Flux Syndicate sowed the seeds of war both in Hazoya and in these islands. There has to be a reason. I have to know their reason. But does it really matter? No reason could ever be enough to justify all the suffering they created. Maybe not, but I still have to know. I lost my home in that war. I lost my neighbors, I lost my family, and I lost myself. If there was a reason, no matter how preposterous, I have to know what it was. And what if the answer isn't satisfying? What if you decide in the end that their reason does not justify their transgressions? I accepted a long time ago that no reason could ever justify their crimes, just as my own reasons did not justify mine. It isn't about that. When I surrendered my soul to that war, I told myself that this is a world of madness, a heartless mess of writhing and chaos. I don't want to know their reasons so I can judge their decisions. I just want to know that they're... No, no, there's two of that, so I don't to fix that. I just want to know that there's a spark of reason beneath the place of madness. I can't really say I understand, but... Perhaps I'm just blinded by my own fury. Even when I look back, I hate that I chose to run away. I wish that I instead stayed to fix the world which burned around me. I had a feeling we would find you here. I heard some rats were after us, so now it's time to put you down. If any of you survive what I'm about to do to you, then I want answers. Do you know why you're only fighting three of us? I asked the others to search out east. I knew you were here. I wanted the glory of killing you all to myself. All right, it's our full team versus Seismic Soldier, Kira Hill Grunt, Kira Hill Archer. Yay. You want this one or should I? You got it. All right. Who's my opener? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think in this fight I'm gonna open Annalena. Hope okay. I don't get the Grunt. I got the girl. <laughs> okay, that's not fantastic. Go here, let him come to me. I think we're going to end up in that same situation as last time, probably. Oh, he braced himself. That's a little bit better. Wow. Got lucky there. Disrespectful. Right? Jolt away, now he's throwing his hatchet. I guess I didn't need to use Jolt away because I would have just dodged anyway. <laughs> that was pretty wasteful, but that's okay. All right, he used up his dodge. Oh, Norman's assist finally coming in clutch. Mm -hmm. Damage the enemy by three. Arrow shot, got him. And see, the key to this one, Zach, is to not miss. <laughs> <laughs> you keep coming out <laughs> You know what? I'll just have to unlock the ability of changing probability. Okay. okay. Right. <laughs> and control over the RNG. <laughs> Alright, now we've got an archer. Uh, Annalena can beat any archer. She, she's a better archer. Oh, this guy's got a shield, though. We don't have a shield. No. Hmm. I'm going to get him anyway. I think that's how I'm going to build Annalena. 
all the defensive techniques in the game. That's a, that's a good idea. Archer shoots an arrow. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to dodge. I don't want to jump back and shoot because I think he's going to jump back and shoot. That's the problem. Mm, headshot? Oh, I've got an answer for that. Duck. Oh, I didn't realize she had it this early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, th thankfully she has it. Because otherwise, I don't know what we'd do. <laughs> Norman coming in clutch again with that extra three damage. Um, I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to corner him. an arrow and dodge. Jolt away. He's going to shoot his arrow at my head. I'm going to duck. Norman hits him again. Of course, that's the last time Norman can do that. Yeah. So I'm slowly inching my way closer. <laughs> oh, but so far I haven't used a single arrow on him that's true I'm going to try to sweep his whole team with just Annalena see if it's even possible shoots an arrow dodge yeah I think I think Annalena has him completely locked down just because of duck right really not any answer he has for that now we can shank him Okay. Well, Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> oh, he's trying to stab me. Um, Alright, I'll use one arrow on this clown. Whatever. A little bit of damage. and something. Um, I'm going for the kill. Screw it. This is taking forever. All right, used up his dodge. So now he can't dodge me, and he's already used one of his uh, shield blocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he can do that, can he? I can shoot an arrow. Um, no. Got him. <laughs> All right, we got one left. Adept soldier of the Seismic Fox Syndicate. We can take him, right? Yeah. Um, um, five arrows? Uh... Oh, five arrows is not a lot. <laughs> a powerful Warhammer slam. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Jolt away. He was fast, too. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, jolt away. Headshot. Warhammer uppercut. Oh, we got dark. Duck. Okay, thank God. <laughs> that was almost scary. All right, headshot. Braces himself. Dang, that's kind of a lot of damage. Wait, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Arrow shot. Oh, he has no... He's out. Oh. Can we... And Elena just swept the whole team. Jesus. All three of them. <laughs> Dang, she's good. She's really good. And she wants to be. Yeah. <laughs> and that there are parts in the game where she just dies like nothing, so. But that fight, she brought it. What? Oh, you're good. Oh, we're out of arrows. Oh, we're going to have to wait for a market. Yep. Norman did say don't bother healing, though. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't even bother with healing yet. Okay, all right. Not right now. We have to get out of here right now before it's too late. I don't think they were bluffing about having more men in the area. And if there's as many as they say, we couldn't take them no matter how much we heal. Our only focus is getting out of here before they learn where we're at. That was a harder fight than I had hoped. Well, I mean, no, it wasn't. She, no. <laughs> she swept the entire team. <laughs> that wasn't a hard fight. What did you talk about? I'll admit, though, I struggled with that the first time. Same. <laughs>
didn't you hear what they said? That it's any day now. When they ran off, the big one said it doesn't even matter if they kill us or not. What do you suppose that means? I've only got a guess, but it isn't pleasant. Seems to me that they know the volcano is erupting soon. In fact, they're counting on it. Those little tremors are just a warning. They don't have to worry about killing any of us, because half this archipelago will be buried in lava as soon as it erupts. But if they know it'll, it'll erupt, and yet they're all here anyway, that means one of two things. Either they want to be here for the eruption, which doesn't make any sense, or they plan to make it happen. I really don't see why they would want that. I think you're right, but you just gave me an idea. All of that seismic activity has probably touched the hot springs. It's always been said that the water has healing properties. I suspect it would be the perfect place to heal our wounds. I know the way. Finally, some good news. Let's get going. That fight was tough. I would take anything I can get. For what it's worth, I wouldn't be opposed to living the rest of my life right here. <laughs> Little hot springs. These springs are fantastic. It's almost enough to make me forget about the Seismic Flux Syndicate. But I suppose that's probably a pipe dream. I never thought I'd hear those words again. There was something else they said when we fought. Something about a great power awakening. I guess we could say that's mildly concerning. Considering that there's a real chance that they're pushing the volcano to erupt. Not that I even have a not that I have even a guess how they could do that. I should have known that I hadn't heard the last of them in Hisoya. They were unstoppable in that war. They were victorious. War ravaged Hisoya just as it ravaged these islands, but I still don't understand why they did it. I don't think I'll ever have closure until I know why I had to lose my home. At the very least, if we can stop them here, then we can stop the suffering from spreading. No matter how you look at it, there's no reason to stay on this island. Let's spend the night on shore and then decide our next move. We either close in on the volcano and stop them at the source, or we call this archipelago a loss. We could head out to sea and try to follow them to their next victim. But so many people live on Brimstone 4. And don't forget, the waves could bury the rest of these islands too. Countless people could die. We can't just let them go through with it. I hate to say, but it's a valid concern. We don't have much manpower. If we just recklessly run to the volcano and all get killed in, in battle, then that doesn't help anyone, especially not Sadie. But are you really going to let, just let them destroy an entire archipelago? Of course not, but we need to be smart about it. We can't just rush in. I'm fine with trying to stop the enemy, but let's not pretend we can take on 12 guys at once. Fine. We'll be cautious, but we'll set out in the morning. I think it's best for everyone if we take this time to rest. I think you're right. If I remember correctly, there's an inn close to the western shore. I'll meet you by the water in a little. I just want to run by the market before it closes. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we're always coming in clutch. Sounds good. Just keep an eye out. Don't run into any trouble out there. I know I'm a tall guy, but I can be surprisingly stealthy when I'm on my own. I know you didn't ask, but I wasn't always a family man or anything of the sort. Before I met Sadie, I worked for some time as a thief for hire. It's not even that I enjoyed it, really. But it was the only thing that made sense to me at the time. If you had to guess, what do you think the Seismic Fox Syndicate wants with a civilian's wife? It may be a family matter, like Norman mentioned before. I just fear she may not be an ordinary captive. Never really learned the details myself, but they used a woman in Hisoya, a woman with supernatural powers, and they called her the Breathless Scourge. She was completely under their control. Wow. That's gorgeous. That is nice. I want to go there. Me too. I go to all these places, man. I love islands. Well, obviously. Right. <laughs> I had always heard rumors of her, but I never knew she was actually real. That said, does it really explain why they took Norman's wife? 
They have several archipelagos worth of people they can turn into weapons. Not gonna pretend like I actually understand any of it. I just know it's something they're involved with. Strange women completely under their control, with abilities we can't even imagine. I tried my best to pretend the Civil War wasn't real, to the extent that I left my home just to uphold my own illusion. But there were some words so chilling that they haunted me even in the penumbra I created for my breaking heart. I know that the rebels struggled in the early stages of the war, but everything's changed all at once. The day the sky exploded, rows of homes were burned to ashes, soldiers gutted civilians in the streets, and they say she was there and ripped the air from the sky. Legions of men suffocated and fell at her feet. It was in that war where we all went wrong. We as men think ourselves civilized, but as soon as war breaks out, or as soon as we're given the go-ahead, I guess, all that civility disappears. We become the same violent savages we think ourselves above. Hold on, I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Viewers watching this, like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, get, get, get out of here. And as much as I detest it, I know that I'm the very same way. In the short time we spent together, I can tell you hate yourself for your mistakes. It practically oozes off of you. It's amazing to me that you've lived like this for years. I know this sounds drastic, but I'm honestly surprised you didn't kill yourself a long time ago. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks, Aunt Elena. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way he talks, like, it's, it's, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, damn. <laughs> That's kind of a bold thing to say. But you're right. When I realized the enormity of what I had done, I knew there was no coming back. So I tried. I truly tried. I surrendered myself to the sea. I prayed for the end, but instead the ocean carried me here. I've decided it has to be for a good reason. Well, the ocean has her reasons. Yeah, the ocean has her reasons. I thought that maybe it was a sign, a message from the divine, if, if you believe in that sort of thing. I had a chance to try again with a different life. I suppose it's fitting that I cross paths with the Syndicate again. It's a chance to make up for the mistakes of my former life. Well, end of scene one. I guess we should stop here. Sounds good to me.